we are going to study five kingdoms in detail. I'm starting with the first kingdom that is Monera. We'll see which organisms are called as Monera. Speaking about cell organization of Monera. The cells which are present in Monera is prokaryotic cell. Their body is unicellular. Speaking about the body structure, the body is made up of one cell and that cell is prokaryotic. So in short, we have to describe the body as prokaryotic cell. So which cells are called as prokaryotic? Prokaryotic means the cell which have primitive nucleus. Now what is the meaning of primitive nucleus? Before that we need to understand what is well-defined nucleus. Speaking about well-defined nucleus, the nucleus first of all will have a nuclear membrane Inside this nuclear membrane, they will have nucleoplasm. Inside nucleoplasm, there will be a dark body called as nucleolus. And finally, they will show network-like structure which is called as chromatin fiber. If all these four structures are present, then it is called as well-defined nucleus. If all these four structures are absent, then it is called as primitive nucleus. If in primitive nucleus all the structures are absent, then who regulates the activity of cell? There is a structure which is present in the center of cytoplasm which helps to control the activity of prokaryotic cell and that material is called DNA mass. This coiled DNA mass is called as nucleoid. In short, nucleoid is called as controller of prokaryotic cell. It is also called as nucleus of prokaryotic cell. The next features regarding Monera is they have, they don't have Membrane bound organelles. Membrane bound organelles are absent. Now, which organelles are called as membrane bound? Mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, etc. All these things are absent except ribosome. So the examples of membrane bound organelles are Next speaking about their features Prokaryotic organism or Monera the organism which comes in kingdom Monera can be either motile or non-motile. Motile means the one who can move and non-motile means the one who cannot move. Now the one who is non-motile, we are not concerned about their locomotory organ. But the one who can move, we should know by how they are moving. 
So in case of Monera, the movement takes place with the help of gliding process or flagellum. Flagella is plural for flagellum. So this is how they move. Cilia is absent. Next feature is how they obtain their food. Which means what? The more of nutrition. Speaking about more of nutrition, they are both autotrophic as well as heterotrophic in case of autotrophic they can be photosynthetic or chemosynthetic but in case of heterotrophic they are either parasitic or saprophytic Example of photosynthetic is rhizobium and example of chemosynthesis is theobacil. The last thing which we are going to study about Monera is what are their types. There are total four types of Monera or indirectly if we say there are four types of bacteria. The name of the four types of bacteria are Archibacteria, Eubacteria, Cyanobacteria and Actinomycetes. Archi means ancient. Ancient bacteria. U means well organized or true. True bacteria. Sino means blue green. Blue green bacteria. And actinomycetes means the bacteria which lives in association with fungi. So you have to buy heart the examples of each category. Example of archibacteria is. Methanobacillus and Theobacillus. Example of Eubacteria is Rhizobium and Clostridium. Example of Cyanobacteria is Nostoc and Anabena. Example of Actinomycetes are Streptomyces and Mycobacterium. Thank you very much student. We completed with the first kingdom that is kingdom Monera.